Hi dear viewers and victorious creators of my channel. Today's DIY project is pillow making. Yes, we are going to make a pillow for the holiday season. I know, I know, very little time left, only three days, but this project is for the DIY ladies who can do some magic within a couple of minutes or one hour. So this is just last minute DIY gift project. Maybe you can gift it to yourself and place the pillows on your sofa. See how many nice ornaments and very cute boxes they have at the 99 cents only stores this year. I know it's the last days before Christmas, but they still have lots of nice bag putting your gifts in they have very cute santa hats even for girls i grabbed one see all the places are almost empty all the shelves <laughs> but i still had found these cute lanterns one red and one green and i left one green on the shelf if you have empty jars like jam jars pickled jars you may eat the inside goodies and then make some diys for flock trees you may <clears throat> put some snow on your christmas trees if they don't have snow see how many nice cute faces they have this year although they are plasticky but still they have metallic tree tops I grabbed the one for my own Christmas tree the blue one they have very very kind of fairy tale rugs <laughs> for your front doors and this ho 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 Santa Claus I grabbed the one for my front door and now we're approaching the aisle where they sell different placemats and table runners from which you are going to choose the fabric material for your pillow for the holiday season these are the ones and i chose this one as i already had bought these cute nutcrackers last year from 99 cents only store this year i was hoping that i could find some type of matching fabric and here we go voila the last two were waiting for me <laughs> at the back of the shelf actually the rack and i grabbed those two and brought home so for this project you will need a couple of things like the stuffing or if you don't have stuffing you may use your x comforter i'm calling it x not old comforter because <laughs> it's not all this just my previous comforter so this one is kind of already worn out so i could i could cut from here but because i already have the stuffing i'm gonna use this one besides the stuffing you will need needle and thread and you will need some type of pins to hold the fabrics together before you start sewing and the thread should be the color of your fabric so let's start i'm gonna just try to sew the sides not hot glue because i don't like to damage the items <laughs> so later if i try to um, detach the glue gets um, messy so it's better to sew nicely and neatly so you are first attaching the pin and then starting to later i will put the stuffing inside and the pillow will be ready i'll show you the end result and then i'll show you how it fits on my sofa and voila the pillow is ready well i didn't record the process of sewing as it's obvious everybody knows how to do it <laughs> i suppose <laughs> you know how to sew two uh, fabrics together 
you may use these pins to hold the fabric together before you go over with the needle and thread and as you can see here nothing is seen very little part is seen here but from far distance nobody will know that you sold it besides these two placements i had bought also two more with snowflakes you will see them on my sofa but before here i wanted to share just this thing so if you can see here 3.99 plus tax will be about 4.50 for this small pillow and by the way the other side is different material different fabric while my pillow here we go the finished product both sides have the same images so which one is better the one that you diy and had fun or the one that you buy i guess the first one and here is how my diy pillow looks like on my sofa together with its brothers and sisters hope you like today's diy and hope you like our walk through the christmas aisles at 99 cent only stores and hope you come back and if you like everything, please don't forget to put your thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if this was your first visit. Please comment and let me know if you have ever DIYed a pillow. It's very interesting to learn how many DIY ladies may participate in my future collaborations. Thanks a lot and Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to everybody. Bye-bye.